All right, let's freaking go, guys. Episode four, the penultimate episode. I mean, not of the Let's Play. This Let's Play is episode nine, and it's going to take us quite a few more episodes because these episodes get increasingly more complex. Let's look at what we're dealing with here. We got 75 bios to collect. We got 15 achievements, and we got 60 fails. That's actually not... That's actually the same number, number of fails that was in the last one, actually. Uh... More bios, though. Twelve more bios. Um, okay, looks like we have five endings to get la this time. Rather than the four endings last time. And then we got... Get all the fails. Get all the bios, of course. Rise and shine. Wake up and smell the snow. Uh, that seems like a Half-Life 2 reference again. They love their Half-Life references. Nailed it. Stuck the landing. Okay. Brugno, getting real tired of seeing this guy. It looks like it's a face on the sun. Uh, I mean, on the moon. The the ba laser face that's usually on the sun is on the moon this time. So if we see the moon, let's try and click on it. Um, I actually remember getting this achievement. I remember how to get this one. And then Waldorf, where is he? <laughs> looks like there's a... Where's Waldo? And then we got three completely secret achievements. Um, Alright, so let's... Let's jump on in. Ah, hello, Henry. Welcome to the wall. Some of the most cunning and notorious criminals are kept here. And now we have the infamous Henry Stick. You're going to be here for a long time. Grigory, take him. Right, there's Grigory. You wait here until cell found. And I forget her name, but the girl. All right. So I guess what I should do this first time is try to. Should I just try and emulate what I did the last time when I won? Um, yeah, because I started with asking for a boost up. <laughs> okay. That would make so much sound through the fence, but, you know. Okay, so do I just go this way, or do I... Is this lowering the ladder? I certainly don't want to leave her. I'm not a jerk. Thanks. And I'm like, look at how much I care. I don't care. I ended up buffing up my guys and doing like 70 damage. <laughs> That's funny. So at the time I was like, I wonder what game they're talking about. Apparently they're talking about Hearthstone. Um, Doo -doo -doo. How'd I do this one? I think it's... I think it's the synchronized takedown, but also Doo -doo -doo. there's a Tetris block back there, but we'll do oh, Distract. Yeah, not... Okay. <laughs> all right well i just what yeah i don't know either but that kind of made me happy all right um i believe it's the synchronized yeah, takedown okay oh, gotcha okay and i remember here if we can get you up there you could get in and open this door there's a massive jailbreak here I remember that is going to be like a lot of people I have to try and get, but uh, that's about the teamwork I expected. I think the force is the one that works, so let me try the Gravitator 2.0. Oh, yeah, it's 2.0 because it's like the one that uh, Charlie used. Newton's Sixth Law. Use the gravity knob to reset gravity to the default setting. Okay, um... Yeah, use the force. I like how the force always grabs people by their throat. And, yep, there's a top hat guy. Oh, boy. Okay, I think I missed one of them. Okay, so in this one, you actually have to choose a, like, combination. So you need to choose one for each of them. 
So is it... If I pick Sniper Crossbow, is that the... Yeah, that's how I get the 360 no-scope. Uh, let's see that again in instant replay. Yeah, so that's that's how you how you get that. Um, is this supposed to be like static on a video screen? That's in front now. All right. Um, so that's sniper rifle crossbow. I forget which combination actually works. Is it grenade crossbow? Ow. Uh -oh. <laughs> if he goes down, he's taking you with him. Okay, then a uh, grenade. Teaser? Uh, electricity plus grenade equals crazy explosion, apparently. Alright. Then I guess it's sniper rifle taser. So, you say all inmates is out of cell. Yeah, some idiot hey, I just grab these. Maybe they'll come in handy? For someone, or... I thought you press. Okay, so we can either toss, try and pass by, or try and blend in. Let's well, we'll toss that. There is convict here. Get down on the ground. Oh, 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 God, don't. Don't do this to me. Back to your cell, inmate. I swear, I was trying to click on people, too, and it wasn't registering. Um... So I think make a face is the correct answer, but I'll do the other two first. Let's do adrenaline. Yeah, Gregory's got moves. Um, I guess they do look pretty similar. I see how you could get them mixed up. Oh, like you saved the wrong person. All right, the knee. I remember this one leads to a weird, confused Super Smash Brothers and Street Fighter reference. You win. Perfect. Uh, whoa, 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 you can't go mixing fighting game references like that. Yeah, I don't... I don't know, I think that's... That would definitely have been funnier if they just kept it to Smash Brothers. You even had the little wave dashing, it was cute. It's just a way in which I don't quite... I don't always jive with this game's sense of humor. What, you think that will upset me? Oh, very much. Yeah, so people all the way yes, back here don't... No, let's get out of here. I guess not all the background people are really characters. All right, and we have to choose a direction. Um, I think I was supposed to get into the truck, but I'll try this way through the fence. Uh, looks like you need one of these. You need, like, a crossing guard. I want, I want to try that again, because I want to see if I can get the person who runs into her. Okay, um, then let's go for the truck. All right, yeah, we're good. Nah, who's driving? <laughs> Didn't your mo mother tell you not to get into vans with strangers? I guess this is a truck. Um, so we go this way, I guess. Well, if it isn't heavy. There has not been an incident here in 50 years, and the day you show up, this happens. You are going to regret everything. Yeah, literally the day. You couldn't hold me for a day, bro. I am the chaos. Alright, and you get a uh, convict allies. Yeah, so I guess that's the ending for doing... That's one-sixth of the fails out of the way already and one of our five endings. Let's let's look at some bios before we uh, hit the streets with that again. So, Henry, of course, uh, back in jail, huh? The icy cold cells of the wall will be hard to escape from. And then Ellie, Ellie Rose, let's remember that. Um, she's locked up in this place too, but why? She has her own unique symbol down here. Oh, so does he, she had the same symbol as Henry. Okay. Um, and here we have, like, a new faction represented. We have the wall. Uh, Dmitry, uh, Dmitry Johannes Petrov, the warden of the wall. 
there hasn't been any sort of breakout in the 50 years he's been in charge. You've been in charge 50 years? Uh, Grigory... Yeah, Grigory Oyat, the warden's second-in-command and main muscle. He gets brought in for the difficult jobs. So, oh, it looks like Charlie. Looks like we're bringing Charlie back in. Um, Heathstone. Oh, he was one of the guys talking about Hearthstone. Uh, he guards the storage room with his friend. They love to talk about their favorite mobile card game. Isaac Binderson. He guards the storage the storage room with his friend who loves collecting random trinkets. Alright, Horace Johnson, one of the guards responsible for cell block patrol. He's not that event um, it's not that eventful unless all the doors happen to open. And all the doors did happen to open. Uh Gary Mann. I don't even know where I picked this guy up, but I think he's the guy from one of the achievements. Yeah, I think he's supposed to be the G-Man. So, you know, another another Half-Life reference. Okay. Got here Joe Joshin. Just Joshin, yeah. He's heard that joke about seven million times. And here's some of the convicts that I helped escape. I missed just one of them here. Um, Mr. Cool. He rarely speaks. His charisma speaks for him. And that's a top hat guy, yeah. Uh, Wild Willie. He thinks he's a prospector. He thinks he's a prospector from the 1800s. Seems he went... Seems he went... Seems he went of a bit of a rampage, granting him a stay at the wall. Sure. Gastro, a practitioner of the dark arts and necromancy. He's a toilet wizard. Punkhauser, he's part of a notorious German biker gang. He's the only member to have been caught so far. Okay, we missed this guy. Maybe I'll try and grab this guy really quick. Uh, but we got Angry Mike, a wanderer traveling in the desert. He became notorious in the area and had to be collected. Okay, so Angry Mike like Mad Max. Um, Jack Stakai. <laughs> Is that like Jack Septicai? Um, a crazy loud Irishman. Not sure, not quite sure what he did to get locked up here, but he probably deserves it. Okay. Um, Gus Gardo. He has four arms. Uh, this guy is a four-armed alien. Apparently, he used to be a big-time racer. Yeah, I think he's one of the aliens from Star Wars Episode One. Uh, Ace Apex, the raddest dude at the wall. Just a total bro. Um, we got Melvin Poolridge. Even though he's extremely nerdy, he loves hanging out with the boys. TM, like like the like the TV show The Boys. Uh, Derek Gorlick doesn't have much of a sense of humor, at least during work hours. We got Colby Phelps, thinks of himself as something of a detective. He can easily become hostile if he suspects any foul play. Uh, Dan the Man, he wanted to go by Dan of Steel, but it was taken. Lil Mikey, he is honestly not supposed to be locked up at the wall. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time and took the fall for someone else. I wonder if he's a character from another, from one of the prior episodes of this. Uh, Pierre Francois, the most notorious baguette burglar in France. He was finally captured when he tried to take down the biggest bakery in all of France. Um, yeah, this looks like more like people I can get in the chaos there. Um, Sean S. E. Lemming, I get a Lemmings because they're running off the cliff. Um, a natural leader mainly because it's the role he was assigned. Mark Emu. Uh, he said he's... Uh, he said he tried not to laugh, but then he laughed. That's grounds for capture. Is he... Why does he look like Markiplier? Mark Emu Plier. Uh, Misha... Sh Misha Sashavo. He used to be part of a crazy group of mercenaries. He was the only one to be captured, and he's honestly probably the most sane one now. Uh, Peter Waylands. He did one of those scare people to bring down the land value so he could buy it for cheap ruses, but was foiled by a group of kids and their dog. Alright, um... Yeah, I kind of want to try and grab a few more of those bios and maybe some of those fails. Uh... I'm gonna start right here with getting on the bus. All right, yeah, we're good. Oh, I thought, I thought that was the one that I missed. Who's driving? Okay. 
Um, whoops. Okay. Map. I'm gonna use the force again to try and get the one other guy who's running away. He's got, like, a shaved head. Let's keep an eye out for him. Such a weird reference. Okay, so we got that guy. Um, I guess let's pick up... Yeah, let's pick up our couple of failures here. We got... Um, yeah, tossing it works. So let's do a pass-by. We'll regroup with uh, third floor. We'll help them clear out maximum security. What do you think? <laughs> I love uh, the uh, like. stealth marker thing. Who get the guards? Looks like they bought your disguises. Okay. And... Hold the elevator. We try to blend in. Thanks. Can you believe this inmate outbreak? Crazy, huh? Yes, it is pretty crazy. Oh, are you guys new here? Oh, yeah. We transferred from the eighth floor. From the cafeteria? Nice try, inmates. What is that guy, a detective or something? I guess he is. Yeah, this is the guy who told us is a detective. Um, yeah, in the, in the bios. And was his last name Phelps? Is he supposed to be like Cole Phelps? I didn't put that together till just now, uh, but it's an L.A. Noir reference. All right, back to this page here. Um, we did the synchronized tank down. I remember Bounce Brothers. I remember this not working. Uh, did you really need to be so extravagant? Okay, and let's do Tall Guy. Oh yeah, last night I kept facing the same deck. Hey, buddy. It's a classic. I don't see how being taller was supposed to help there. It's a classic. Okay. Let's go back to the very beginning. It. I guess one of these is a straight up failure by the look of it. Oh, but there's a whole nother. No, let's do this instead. What happens if we. Ellie will remember that. Oh no! At this point, he has only like 10 health left. And he plays, the gates are open. And I'm like, look at how much I care. I don't care. <laughs> okay, so I guess now we're going to do the same thing just without Ellie. Um, okay, so we got the Wind Waker here. We can do the command melody. Uh, I remember the command melody. That is exactly how Wind Waker works. Too bad you didn't know how to play, like, an ocarina or something. Uh, I mean, there aren't too many of the ocarina songs that would have helped either. Maybe you could have done, like, something to make time pass until they eventually left, but... Yeah, anyway. I ended up I'm overthinking up the joke. Guys, I'm doing, like, 70 damage. Did you really need all that? No loot left behind. Yeah, it's Henry. You can't not mm -hmm. steal all the loot. I ended up buffing up my guys and... <laughs> oh, come on. Are you serious? That was totally you. You what? Don't you accuse me. Come on, just admit it. It wasn't me. Surprisingly effective. Okay. Okay, so I'm going down the same path. I'm just doing it by myself now. Ooh. And we got the long shot. <laughs> it's so long. Oh, new guy. Okay. The long shot only hooks onto wood things. Luckily, you hit one. Okay. Um, yeah, we've got a sonic kind of spring here. <clears throat> Come to think of it, those boingers are kind of loud. Alright, so we need the power jump. That's a Super Mario Brothers 2 jump. All right, uh, balloon. All right, um, that's not one I'd have expected to work, but okay. Uh, helium balance or 
plunger boots like it's a uh, like it's banjo tui but might as well go in order up two guys two guys two guys got him and okay we got a uh they're they're really hitting us with the video game references here let's do the box Just a box. <laughs> uh, hey, at least you weren't found. The box always works. Oh, different guy back there. Oh, I guess I had that guy already. Alright, so we got a, the SS Annie. Kind of like the SS Ann from Pokemon Red and Blue. We got a little dinghy, and we got a rocket. Um, let's go for the big dump thing. It, it calls to me. Wow. Wow, yeah, this is actually working. <laughs> Did you think none of the crew would notice an unscheduled departure? Um... You know, I don't I don't think anything. I just, you know, things either work or they don't work in this game. Don't don't be snippy with me, but let me try and get this guy's bio really quick. Okay. I like how it starts to play like an ending theme though. Um All right, let's do the ding. Someone just leave. I think it was Smith. Oh yeah. Probably off to see his family. Yeah. Oh, you mean I just made an unscheduled departure and no one noticed? I know it's of a smaller thing, but okay. That's another ending for us. Okay, we're kind of knocking out these endings. We're already a third of the way through our failures. Um, let's do another bio recap. Okay, so working from the back of the list this time, we got this uh, shaved head guy, Uba, uh, found frozen deep in the snow of Svalbard. After thawing out, he regained consciousness and became hostile. Well, I'm glad he's in there and we're out here. Uh, we got this guy, Mike Mulligan, kind of a slacker. He likes to find a secluded place and mess around on his phone. We got Nikolai Ditram. A master of the Slav Squad, he runs a class on it twice a week in the rec room. He is squatting at the box, isn't he? Um, Mateus Goldsmith, don't tell anyone, but his mom bought him those earmuffs and he's a bit embarrassed about it. Oh, that is, yeah, that is the G-Man standing over there. Okay. Um, Captain Laszlo Ugovic. Uh, the captain of the naval division of the Wall. He is in charge of one ship, the only one the Wall has. And here's Milos Krakowski, a recruit in the Wall's naval forces. They run sea-based retrieval operations. All right, I think we got time to do a little bit more here. I was I was worried this one was going to be like way bigger than the last one, but it looks like this is about as big as the airship. So um. Yeah, let's hit let let's hit the failures through this one as best we can. Um, so if we try just sprinting for it, up my guys and doing. Was that the convict? Uh, yeah, I think so. What are we supposed to do when someone tries to escape again? Uh, I think shoot them. Ah, yes, that sounds right. Uh, bet you thought that was just a spear. Yeah, it was a power spear. Okay, so let's jump ahead two here to the elevator we used the balloon and the balloon worked great so now we're going to actually press the buttons on the elevator boys lunch is on me lunch time already fellas and then Yeah, go back here. We could try bungeeing. Uh, 
Uh, did did you just bungee jump with the plain rope? Yeah, it doesn't work with a rope. You need something with elasticity. Okay, so the, we balloon our way down. We use the helium. The helium actually works, but this time we're going to try and balance on the beam. Oh, that pipe wasn't very sturdy, fatso. Uh, plunger boots. A I O U? What? Why does it let me click on it? <laughs> Once it started like responding, I figured there was something where I clicked it enough time. Okay, I don't get it, but. All right, fine. I, I guess I don't have to get it. Well, what does that have to do with the shoes from Banjo Tooie? Um, all right, if we do the uh, shadows, or uh, good old gadget, Gabe. So it lets you burrow into the shadows, I guess. Uh, now you're but a shadow of your former self. Okay. So I use the raccoon leaf to get past. What happens if I try and take the rocket? I think you mixed up the staging process a bit. Yeah, fair. Hard to just use a rocket to escape like that. Um, I want to see if something happens for me clicking on the G-Man. Um, use the leaf here. Let me just... Okay, I left clicked. That did something. Am I supposed to, like, click on him everywhere he appears, maybe? Um... I don't know, but... Okay, how much time do we have? We're, we're 27 minutes up into the episode. Let me... Let me do a little more here. Um, so what we've tried here so far is boosting up. What if we do a charge tackle? Oh, no, no. Uh, yeah, I'll just let the timer run out. Uh, notice that timer? Now you know exactly how much time you have before your terrible reflexes are revealed. Okay, let's try these, uh, Sonic shoes here. Too fast for you, yeah. Then... Acrobatics? Maroon is the fair to climb. What? Nine. Wow. Uh, let the timer run out again. Uh, you know, I don't think this guy knows what he's saying. Uh, web throw. <laughs> Your hands are still covered up, you know. Can you even shot web? Uh, tool gun? Uh, connection terminated. You have been kicked from, uh, kicked from fleeing the complex for cheating. Uh, cheaters never prosper. Yeah, no, no cheating devices. So I guess we need an item. Uh, sir, I got a message. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, it looks like uh, Henry Stickman. Stick Stickman. Yeah, Henry Stickman has escaped. You still there? Attention, we have an escaped convict. He's last seen heading towards the surface. Don't make me do this myself. Ooh, ooh, oh, we got like an Advance Wars or maybe Fire Emblem sort of thing 
look in here. Ooh. Okay. Let's fight a uh, Soda Popinski up here. Uh, yeah, that's a uh, technical knockout. So if I go for this empty building here, use the visit action. Oh my god, it's a FNAF! <laughs> Spooked. That was over a hundred haunted. Ugh, silly. Alright. Um, go for the guy with the big sword. Yeah, I got some blazing sword action there. Oh! Right, he's up here somewhere. We cannot let him get through the skate. Oh, nice that. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. I'll, hold the phone a second. Um, one, I want to hear that again, but two, I want to take a... I, I want to try and grab the bio of that guy coming out of the door right at the very end there. Oh, wait, was that the G-Man again? We cannot let him get through the skate. Oh, nice that. Wait, I think it was. One more time. Hey, 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 one more time. Alright. He's up here somewhere. We cannot let him get through the skate. So there's something with collecting G-Man appearances, apparently. Um, sorry, I'm checking my time again here. Okay, let's, uh, let's use a sandwich. Oh, uh, we're Castle crashers -ing. Eat a sandwich, you get super strong. Uh, this one weird trick will make you super buff. Weightlifters hate him. Hey, you wanna try that? All right, taking the truck. Oh, I see some people. Yeah, we got some people on cars here we can get. Uh, let the timer run out. Uh, not even close, buddy. Shoot. It is hard to shoot and drive at the same time. Eyes on the road, man. Uh, bail. Um, you should have followed up with a tether from your wrist-strapped grapple hook. What do you mean you don't have one of those? Uh, seems like another video game reference. I'm gonna bail again just because I want to try and get... I don't know. Yeah, I thought that. I thought that was a new bio. Then we must have to do a slam. say, Henry, I'm impressed. Really, I am. You're the first person to escape the wall, but this is the end for you. Wait, I'm gonna let him keep talking. options here, Henry. You stay in there. Oh, they and keep revealing new things. Back to the complex. What's it going to be, Henry? Hmm. Well, that's just too bad. Did All right, everyone <laughs> back to work. Did you just push the entire truck down there? And was that, like, actually the right answer to wait? <laughs> Presumed dead. All right. Wow, okay, so we... I feel like we got a lot done today. We got 38 of the fails, and we got 3 out of 5 of the endings. I feel pretty good about that. Um, we also unlocked the final chapter here, but as usual, we're not going to do that. We're going to try and 100% fleeing the complex instead um, before we even think about going to episode 5. So... Yeah, there are a lot more... Oh, we're pretty close on our bios game, too. We got a 52 out of 75. Got a nice funnel of achievements. Yeah, let's, um... 
Maybe, maybe we can wrap this up next time. I have a feeling it's going to take two episodes to wrap up, but we'll see. I'm the Comic Foil, and I'll see you later.